Last weekend, we talked about a woman in the Bible who was caught in the act of adultery. If you missed last weekend's message, I hope you will go back and watch it on Mech's website or Mech's YouTube channel or listen to it on the Mech app. This short and simple story bears so much meaning and significance in how we are to treat others and give us an idea of how to self-reflect. What happens in this story is a woman is caught in a terrible act of an affair with another man whom she's not married to. The people who caught her brought her out in the public to be judged and scoffed at. And then they all picked up rocks to stone her to death. This was the punishment for a crime like this back in Jesus' day. But Jesus was there and he chose to show her the same mercy that he extends to us each and every day. Let the one who has never sinned throw the first stone. Talk about a gut punch. One by one, those people started to leave. One by one, they realized that they were no better than this woman. They had their own issues and their own sin. They needed to deal with that before condemning they needed to deal with that before condemning this woman for her mistakes. In fact, Jesus knew that owning our own sin would be tough for many of us to grasp, so he talks about it in a few places in the Bible. One of which is found in Matthew's biography of Jesus, of Jesus' life, where Jesus says, Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite. First, take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Jesus' point, we need to focus on righting our wrongs. We need to focus on making sure we are doing everything in our power not to sin. We need to focus on changing our own heart and actions to make better decisions. We need to do all of that before we can ever point a finger at anyone else saying that what they are doing is worse, is worse than what we're doing. I hope today you'll be able to take an evaluation of your own heart, your own life, and your own choices and make necessary changes to get the plank out of there.